What do you know, people? I just left the Michaels. I'm buying canvases. I'm supposed to be painting that cat. I told I told Taylor I'd have that cat painted this weekend, and I've thought about it, and I've thought about it, and I've thought about it, and I've made some sketches and did some color scheming, and, and I probably wore myself out trying to figure out how I was going to paint it before I even put a brush to it. You ever... You ever notice how you can overkill something before you even get started? And, you know, I'm kind of worried that's what I'm about to do with this cat. But I think we got it worked out. I've, I bought, bought four canvases, and that, so if I mess up, I'll have another canvas to, to move on to. And who knows, maybe I'll have an extra cat to sell. We'll, we'll see how that works out. But uh, I, I'm going to get started on that. We should be see. I should see some updates on that this this coming week. That's going to be that's going to be some fun. And then on the randomographer, uh, I decided to go with a gate valve. Now we talked about it last week. I've got a gate valve over here that I'll show you. Uh, I'm coming up on a red light. Let me let me just talk about it. The gate valve's got like a sliding plate in it that acts you know like a gate. <laughs> and stops the flow. I got this one. I think it's been returned. It probably probably won't hold water, but I don't need it to hold water. I just need it to hold eggs. And so uh, little plastic eggs, not even not even real eggs. And so here's the here's the gate valve now that I'm at a stop sign. Here's the gate valve. And it's, now you see me. <laughs> so what I thought I'd do is drip is uh, is cut this out right here and right here and put a bolt on there that'll go back and forth and stir the stir the eggs and the balls up so they can fall through with no problem and I think that'll that'll solve the problem I, dealing with my mom and dad are moving to Houston my mom and my dad and granny are moving to Houston and uh, we're getting ready to go back to Oklahoma to help them finish up the last trip, but we don't know when we're going to do it. Nobody wants to go back to Oklahoma. It's an eight-hour drive, and, and and just about everybody we love is down here except for, I mean, unique with Chantelle LaFontaine and her mother already live down here. So I've got one grandbaby, an older daughter. i got my two youngest kids and my wife, my mom, my dad, and my granny have moved down here. But my son, my 30-year-old son and his beautiful young bride, and Tracy Lou Humar's Pan Moon Pie, my, my newest grandbaby, are all in Oklahoma. So uh, at the very least, I'm going to go long enough to, to go by and pinch her because, you know, you got to pinch grandbabies. And I just, I can't, I can't wait to do that. But hopefully we'll have that done before too long. And then week after next, I start, I've, I've signed up to take a, uh, to get a master's degree in project management. And I tell you, man, there's nothing scarier than, than, than paying that tuition bill. When you, once you pay that tuition bill, there's no backing out. You know, I'm in it now. I can't, I can't stop now. I, I've signed up, but, uh, at least it's online. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not in a classroom. I don't have to worry about being able to, you know, if I, if I manage to get a job, uh, in the meantime, I don't have to worry about that interfering with my schoolwork. So it's it's 100% online, but it's two years. It's a two-year program. But it's not bad. That's not a that's not a bad deal. But at least you know, like I said, it's online. I haven't got a job yet. Uh, hopefully, we'll we're starting to send out resumes again because people are starting to respond again. And it looks like this thing's starting to open back up. I see I see more and more people without masks. I see more and more people going to their offices. They're not taking any meetings just yet, but they're they're starting to get out more and more. And I figure, you know, we'll all get together. Hell, if they can riot, we can we can at least go to Michael's. But uh, <laughs> but you know, the truth of the matter is, if this if this disease turns around and kills us, I saw on the internet the other day, if this disease once we're all extinct from the COVID disease, I hope whatever species arises to replace the intelligent life, I wonder if they'll make human nuggets out of them, like we do with the dinosaurs if they'll make if they'll make chicken nuggets shaped like us <laughs> that was funny anyway hey uh interviews yesterday you saw the interview with uh Catherine rob i hope you enjoyed that i had a great time talking to her she's she's good people uh i've got some other ideas of people that i want to talk to i've asked a couple of them i asked dd Dee y'all Dee. put some pressure on dd Dee Dee for me i asked dd Dee Dee and she said well i've already said everything for 10 years i've already said everything I need to say I talked the whole time I'm online. So, 
<laughs> but maybe, maybe she'll talk to me for 15, 20 minutes. We can get something, we can get something on the air for you. And then uh, Jamie Lynn, or, or you know, there's there's lots of people uh, that that I would like to like to visit with. But if you know of anybody in particular you want me to try to reach out to, Cinnamon Cooney. If there, if you know of anybody in particular you'd like for me to reach out to, put them in the comments below. Let's see, let's see if we can have us a little chat with them because you know this is my favorite thing to do is to talk to people and, and act a fool on the interwebs so anyway that's it as far as updates go this week i hope you've enjoyed our little drive-by chat and uh, uh as always peace out Bye.